on a happy happy boo. The video that you are watching is my very first video on YouTube and I thank you for it. I will show you today how to steam for flat white, latte and cappuccino. Focusing on different amounts of milk foam. The espresso machine I'm using at home is Nova Simonelli Oscar II. The transparent 8 ounce cups will help us check different foam levels for each types of milk coffee. The steam pressure is quite strong similar to commercial ones. Please bear in mind that the time I will steam may vary in yours depending on what machine you would use. For a demonstration purpose, I will omit the milk to coffee ratio and focus on different milk foam levels while keeping the quantity of coffee consistent. My extraction volume or the yield will be 20 grams for each cup of coffee. For milk, when you pour milk just below spout in a standard sized milk pitcher, it will be approximately 8 ounces. So let's start with flat white. The stretching or the hissing sound to put air into milk took 4 seconds. I like to have just enough aeration to pour a lot of art. I will show you the basics of steaming in another video. Today, let's focus on how much air to put in. As I'm swirling, you can see the texture is fairly light. It is very velvety and smooth. For my upcoming videos, I want to also show you how to improve latte art with different patterns. Today, I will stick to our tulip design. Flat white is generally 0.5 cm. Next up is latte. The stretching took about 8 seconds. 4 seconds more than flat white. As you see, it is definitely creamier than flat white. I like to transfer the steamed milk into another pitcher to break the micro bubbles even smoother. Latte has a bit more foam of around 1 cm. Last but not least, cappuccino. It took me 13 seconds as it required the milk to be aerated a lot more in order to create thick, creamy froth. As you can see, it is the creamiest and most milk intense. You can feel the heaviness of the thick foam with the volume increase. It is a common practice in European and Australian coffee cultures to dust cappuccino with chocolate powder. However, in many specialty coffee shops, they avoid the chocolate powder to maintain the flavor profile of the espresso intact. Also, you can notice a dome of distinct thick airy foam on top. 
Cappuccino is about 1.5 cm of thick foam, including the dome. The best way for me to check if I steamed enough with different machines is through trial and error. You can easily check by first, how much volume has increased, second, how heavy the jug has become, and third, how it looks when you swirl. And if you have aerated too much, you can always dip out a bit of steamed milk before pouring. You could say there are only little differences in foam thickness. However, we should all aspire to prepare perfect foam for each drink, as a small difference can go a long way of refining people's preferences in taste. Just like how flat white got developed. That's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting topics on coffee and life, and see you next time, happiness!